Hi guys, welcome to A Touch of Film. Uh, today I have got a very special unboxing of a uh, of a title I've really been looking forward to. Um, I got this from Media Psychos. It's released by Diskino, part of their World Cinema Library collection. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos where I've unboxed some of their titles, uh, they've released Red Sorghum, um, just, uh, oh, The Horse Thief, just some absolute beautiful Chinese titles. Uh, they've also released like mainstream uh, American films, uh, some classic cinema. Uh, but yeah, I'm mainly interested in the Asian titles. But yeah, they put a lot of effort into their titles. Um, today, it is the Black Cannon Incident. Um, this is directed by Wang Jingxin. Uh, it's a black comedy. And it tells the story of two characters, really. Uh, one a character called Zhao, uh, Zhao uh, who's played by Lu Zifeng. He's a engineer translator. He translates uh, for to another German engineer uh, called Han. Uh, Hans, uh, who's played by, if I could pronounce this correctly, Gerard Osh. Schwensky. I'm sorry, my German naming is terrible. Um, yeah, so they, these are two great engineers. Um, but yeah, Zhao is this um, a tr a technical translator. But due to a telegram he sends, the last time Hans was here, he sort of gets himself into trouble and is later investigated by the Chinese government. Uh, if, Big misunderstanding, um, and Zhao is then told that he cannot translate for Hans. Uh, it seems like a very simplistic story, but it's just beautifully told. Uh, it, if I can say that the, if this can be compared to anything, I would probably compare it to a Coen Brothers film, uh, very similar to something like Burn After Reading. A uh, lot of uh, things that fall into place later on in the film, but absolutely brilliantly told. Uh, this was made in 1985, but the work that's gone into this and the remastering is absolutely phenomenal. It's just beautifully created. Uh, the work that's gone into this, um, the, the guys at uh, World Cinema Library just they pulled it off again. They, they've they not released a bad film. That, uh, that, uh, like, in the sense that everything they've released has been absolutely fantastic. And they're, they're slowly becoming, well, quickly becoming one of my favorite publishers, if not my favorite publisher um, on, of Blu-rays, Asian titles, because just the work that they put into it. Uh, I mean, this is, uh, in terms of special features, they usually do um, completely English friendly, like they'll have Tony Raines doing like a 45 minute interview. This, this is like criterion standard. Um, but I mean, this one has got a extra supplement. However, it's the supplement on the disc is not English friendly. That being said though, there isn't, uh, English friendly supplement in the book that comes with the film so it's they've sort of like given the English uh, non Mandarin speaking uh, uh, purchase of this something at least they've not like said here you go the supplements are not for you they have given you something and, and, and I'll respect that because obviously they can't always get the license for the supplements or they can't get the, uh, the, the, the translations done but yeah uh, in this one they've got uh, uh, Chris Berry doing a supplement for it he he's a, in, uh, a Asian film expert uh, one of the two big ones in the UK you got Tony Raines and him uh, these two gentlemen are absolute encyclopedias of uh, uh, Asian cinema in the UK and their work uh, is just so well known. But yeah, uh, I'm going to unbox this now and let you all take a closer look of it.
So here it is guys, um, closer look, um, if you can see on the front you have this uh, spot glossing debossed title which is in uh, Mandarin and you have this uh, like office, well this is like the meeting room which the government meeting is like this completely white room with a clock on it and obviously it's like mirrored there so gives an unusual look there but absolutely nice cover um, and on the back you have this image um, it's the world cinema library logo and there's Diskino library Diskino logo um, now this is limited to 700 copies and this is 151 uh, there's all the specs it is got English subs and it is region free so there's all the little, if anyone can read Mandarin and there it is so again yeah, let me, it's quite snugly packed So you have the disc, the artwork in the main, so you've got the Hans there, and Xiao, and here are some government officials, um, Black Cannon incident there. You also have alternative artwork, which is there, um, I prefer this artwork. Yeah, still quite cool. And there's the disc artwork. Still very nice. You have some art cards here. You may still be able to get this from Media Psychos if they can get a copy. So here are the art cards, very unusual art design. And this is reference to the film. This is the actual telegram note that is shown at the beginning of the film. That's a really cool add on there. And it's uh, Black Cannon in room 301. Um, and it has a lot of importance, this telegram in the film. Uh, and you have the World Cinema. Um, this is their little card which they do individually for every release. And this has got the clock from the movie. Um, now you have two booklets, you have like a, uh, I think this is a script, um, I think this is a script, yeah, or scenario book, uh, however this is all in Mandarin, uh, which is cool still, it's beautiful artwork, it's got this Xiao on there with his chess piece which plays a big importance in the film. And you also have this uh, essay book. This is quite chunky. This is in Cantonese, as well as having some really nice artwork in here. The government official meetings, characters in there, uh, and this has the essay. Chris Berry there. Absolutely beautiful edition, guys. 
I cannot recommend this film enough for anyone who is an Asian film fan and into black comedies. Um, so yeah, here is my unboxing done. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Just another thing, look how thick this box is. I mean, that is a chunky solid box. Proper solid. Um, if you did pick up Red Sorghum, you'd know what I'm talking about. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you did pick this up, let me know. Uh, comment below. Um, and, you know, let me know what's your favourite World Cinema Library pickup or, or any Discino release. Um, they're just smashing it at the moment. And I think this year they are really going to kill it. So hit that subscribe button, comment below, click like. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.